welcome back to my channel. Just kidding. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, your boy, Humanity, and I'm finally fucking back with another video. Like, sorry, bitch. I literally got abducted, went to another planet, and now I'm here with this look. Um, but yeah, I'm coming back with you guys with a review on the Jeffree Star Alien Palette from his holiday collection, as well as one of his liquid lips. I did get Can't Relate. So, did I like it? Did I not? Are you interested on how I got this look? I'm sure you are, or else why would you be watching unless you're just being nosy or a hater, which you don't need any more of. But anyways, I'm glad you guys are back, and if you're new to my channel, what the fuck is good? What is up? Welcome. This is my channel, obviously, or else, like, like, just obviously it's my channel. So, yeah, you guys, I'm excited to come back with this video today to give my thoughts and opinion on this palette and show you how I got this look. So if you are interested, make sure to sit and watch because how else are you going to figure out what the fuck I did? Can't read my mind, obviously. So yeah, you guys stay tuned, grab a popcorn, grab your friend. I don't know what you need to do, but make sure that you have everything ready to go because we're about to get into this video in three, two. All right, guys, so let's get into the video. As you guys read from the title, today's video is going to be about this little bad bitch right here. This is the Jeffree Star Alien Palette. This uh, launched, I believe, on November 9th. I did order it on that day and I received it this past Friday, the 23rd, I believe. Something like that. Um, which is typical for Jeffree Star launches. They usually take a little bit just as he does get so many orders and he does get backed up. It's whatever, no biggie. So anyways, um, getting into the palette, these are 3D as Jeffree said. They're like a nice hard plastic. The logo being right here, the alien, as well as the Jeffree Star logo here. And on the back, this is like a pink faux leather. It's really nice and sturdy. It is magnetic, um, so it will not open. Um, so anyways, you guys getting into the palette, it does have 18 shades here. Um, I have not used any of these on my lids. I have only swatched two colors when, um, from this palette, which was the shade Moon Rock here and the other one, which was Area 51. I just watched those really quick on my wrist and then went about my business. I have not touched the palette since. But I'm very excited about this palette. Like this one is very different compared to the other Jeffree palettes that have launched in the past. Like Blood Sugar, Thirsty, Androgyny, and Beauty Killer. All of them have been more like on, I guess, the warmer side or neutral side. I guess you can say this is definitely a little bit of a spin for Jeffree's um collection which is i'm not complaining i love these color tones i love the story i just like this whole kind of just futuristic cool tone like it takes me somewhere go ahead and get into the palette so we're gonna go ahead and start off by laying down a shade all over the eye and i'm gonna go ahead and take the first shade here to go ahead and set as my base or just as a good um transition i'm gonna go ahead and mix a little bit of gravity and a little bit of Titan. And I'm gonna go ahead and just take these on a Morphe M441 to go ahead and lay that down in my crease just as a good transition shade. Um, there is a little bit of just fallout, but nothing crazy like um, you wouldn't get from any other palette. So it's nothing crazy like the Subculture Anastasia palette that was released last year that was like bananas. So we're gonna go ahead and place that into the crease here with just the tips of the brush on the crease. And I'm just slightly gonna go ahead and go back and forth with like windshield wiper motions. And yeah, just go into the crease and just have a fucking day. You guys can see, we're gonna go ahead and just keep working that in, not dipping into any extra color. Just wanna make sure this color is just really blown out. And I just want everything to be really just blended and just looking fucking snatched. So we're gonna keep going ahead and I'm gonna dip back into those uh, same two colors, Titan and um, Gravity, and go ahead and dust off the access. Um, like I said, nothing crazy, typical fallout like any other palette would have. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and just place that on the other eye, just like I said, in soft circular motions. Okay guys, so now that we have that in the crease, it probably looks on camera like I really don't have much in there, but it's very, just a soft brown, just to make sure that we have the colors, the other colors have something nice to blend into. So we just want like a nice wash of colors. So that's fine and cool. So we're gonna go ahead and put that brush off to the side. So now what we're gonna do is I kind of want to go in with this shade here. It's kind of called Tall Gray. It's at the bottom. It's like a bluish gray tone. 
Tall Gray. If you guys don't know, that is one of the aliens, or I guess that is a form of alien. If you have seen like Dark Skies, you know, like those types of guys. So go ahead and take the, it's the Morphe M514. It's just a little small brush like that. And I'm gonna go ahead and take that tall gray shade on that brush. And we're gonna go ahead and just put that into the crease as well. I think we're just gonna go with something a little more cool, a little more dark, a little more edgy. So we're gonna go ahead and take that uh, tall gray shade. We're just gonna knock off any extra that we have. And we're gonna go ahead and place that lower than that shade we just placed down the tight end and gravity. I'm gonna go ahead and just start to work that softly in the outer corner. Cause I think we're gonna go bring the drama today, bitches. We're gonna do it. We're just gonna let all those fucking holes know like no one's still in your bottle today. Also guys, I know I've been missing, but I did upload a video. We did, um, actually my boyfriend edited a video of our vlog of our trip to California for Horror Nights for our three year anniversary, as well as his birthday, because his birthday's November 1st. So we did, I did put that on my channel. I will leave that down below if you are interested and have not checked that out. But yeah, that was fun. Um, Horror Nights was definitely pop in we got the express pass and they definitely recommend it if you have never went to universal horror nights or you want to or you're interested in getting a fast pass i recommend it just for the fact that some of the lines were like super dropping shit sorry like super long like up to an hour or sometimes two hours long and i don't know about you i'm not trying to wait in a line for that fucking amount of time. Go back in with uh, the original two shades I put down first, Titan and Gravity. If you're asking why you're looking over, I forgot the name. So I'm just gonna go over the edges here of that gray shade with those first two tones just to make sure it is nice and soft. It is blended out. Nothing is looking too harsh. So we're gonna go ahead and go in with a little pointed brush here. This is the Morphe. M506. I definitely recommend this brush if you want to get like in tight little spaces to do a little detail work. I'm going to go ahead and go in with the purple shade that is in the palette here called Area 51. It's this super pretty like bright purple. I don't even know if the camera is like picking it up, but it's this shade here. It's just super pretty like uh, it's calling my name. I need to use it just like everybody else has, but who gives a fuck? So I'm going to go ahead and dip my brush into that. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna place that here by just putting packing motions on our outer corner here. We're just building up that color. And make sure that you just keep the padding motions. And then kind of with just super light pressure, I'm kind of just feathering that color like super lightly. Just kind of blending up and just still kind of patting. Just like soft motions. I don't really want to blow this color out because I know if I blow this color out, it'll be everywhere. Like it'll just be a mess. And I'm not trying to do that. And we're gonna go ahead and do like a halo type of eye. So we're gonna go ahead and get that purple as well and place it into our inner corner here. That's why I said to, um, to drag in that tall gray shade here so we would have something to blend into nice and soft. And with these kind of looks guys, for real, like you just take your time, small baby steps is the best way I say because you don't want to rush it and make a mistake and you have to go back and fix it. Like it's better just to take your time and just be patient with it and the result will be better. You won't have less, you'll have less chance of like messing up and having to go back and fix it. So we're gonna go ahead and just keep packing that color on the outer. And we're gonna go ahead and kind of dragging on the inner corner here just to go ahead and start to 
fade that color into the center. So we're gonna go ahead and keep that purple right there. And what we're gonna do now that we packed on the purple, we're gonna go back in with that Morphe M514 brush back into tall gray. And we're gonna go ahead and just go over the edges just to make sure that it is blended out and we don't look like a street whore at four in the morning. Let's go ahead and go in with this little detail brush from Morphe. This is a synthetic brush. This is the Morphe M170-8. Bitch, this is technical. This, it's a little detailed small concealer brush. That's basically what it is. Morphe making it difficult. Mm. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go in and just go ahead and place that concealer here in the middle. And I'm just gonna place it down. And I kinda wanna do like or at least try to, like a little bit of a, a little bit of like a spotlight eye or something, like just have the pop be in the middle. And on the outer corners here, I am just, our edges of the concealer, I'm just feathering it out with light pressure into that purple, just so when we do place shadow down, everything just blends out nicely. I'm gonna wet the brush with some Fix Plus. Ah. So we're gonna go ahead and spray that, and now we're gonna take a little more of the Alien on now the wet brush and see if this really intensifies that green. Oh yeah. Oh, yes. Oh. Jesus. That is super pigmented. So go ahead and I just like to tap. Tap, 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 tap. Okay, and it should look like something like that. So what you're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and go back in with the shade here. Let me find it. Area 51 with the pencil brush again, the Morphe M506. And we're just gonna go ahead and pack on that purple and blend in that purple with this green. This is just a e.l.f. little flat eyeliner brush. It just looks like this, nothing crazy. I'm taking that because it is flat and we're gonna go ahead and run the purple or the shade here. Um, tall gray on the lower lash line. I'm gonna take that tall gray shade and we're just gonna go ahead and smoke this out a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the, this is the NYX um, eyeliner pencil. This is the slide on glide on stick define waterproof liner and the shade, let me see what shade this is emerald it's like a little bit of a darker green and i thought it'd be really pretty with this look just to like make it pop with the green on our lids so i'm gonna go ahead and take some of that and let me go ahead and line my lid and just go ahead and drag that almost mid. all right guys i'm back i went ahead and added on those lashes and i completed the other eye and I also went ahead and lined my lips. I am using the LA Girl Lip Liner. This is the Perfect Precision Lip Liner in the shade Flesh. It looks like this one. So I went ahead and um, lined my lips with that. And now we're gonna go ahead, and I also got from the um, Holiday Collection from Jeffree Star is the shade Can't Relate, um, which is this shade here. We'll go ahead and swatch it. Super pretty shade, and I thought with this eye being so crazy, this is gonna be perfect. And it looks like this. Super cute packaging. The packaging has like red and like yellow, and it looks like a little hint of green glitter in it. So we're gonna go ahead and add this liquid lip to complete the look. So 
to highlight, my little obsession lately has been to be using the Anastasia M. Lazy Highlighter. So, and to even make that even more intense, if that wasn't enough, you're gonna be like, bitch, what, there's more? Yes, there's more, there's obviously more. I like to go in, I picked this up in uh, California when I was out there at the Morphe store in Burbank. Shout out to all of them, because they were super nice. Um, the Jeffree Star, this is the Supreme Frost in Snow Globe. Like I said, this is not a sponsored video, but Jeffree, if you are listening, hey, what's up? shoot me an email or whatever and we can add me to that PR list like if you're listening Morphe as well um the same so with this is more like a skin topper just to put that out there I don't use this directly as a highlight because it's way too much and bitch I'm a little crazy but not that crazy and I like to use this because it looks wet on the skin like I like to use the Anastasia and this because I feel like they're very much in the same color family so they go together nicely and I just literally just tap it on the high points of my cheeks. Like, mm -hmm. like bitch. And just <sighs> spray it on the face. Let that sink in for a little bit. And go ahead and go back in with your beauty blender. And just make sure that everything is cohesive. I like to go over those edges of the highlight again. Just to make sure that it is blended into the skin as much as possible. All right, guys, and I actually think that completes my look for this Jeffree Star Alien Holiday Collection review. If that's a long ass title. But anyways, guys, my thoughts on the palette. So is it worth the $52? Because I forgot to mention it is $52 on his website. Um, I don't believe Morphe is has it on their site yet, or if they will carry it, I'm not sure, but most likely they will. Um, but for the shades I did use, which were Titan, Alien, uh, um, let's see here, mm -mm -mm -mm. Tall Gray, Area 51, uh, Black Hole, all mostly matte, but some shimmers, I definitely recommend this palette. <sighs> um, if you're looking for something fun, something different than the normal, like, like, just browns and reds and all that stuff definitely recommend this if not just for the colors it's definitely a collector's item like come on like where else are you gonna find a palette like this this shape in stores um so i definitely do recommend it if you are a makeup lover or if you are definitely into these tones as you can see like i gave you very much a fun like dramatic eye but there are very many there are a lot of tones in here that you can create like a basic you know natural everyday eye which i will be doing that as well i'm going to be using doing a quite quite a few different looks with this palette this one starting off but i'll also do more of a dramatic one that i have in mind and then more of a neutral one just so you guys can get the best out of this palette if i can talk basically so yeah i definitely do recommend the palette uh 52 dollars i know is a little much if you know so if you are able to pick it up definitely do but if you can't you know it is what it is but it is a good palette the formula is very nice they're buttery they blend well not that much fallout just like any typical palette um the liquid lip like i said i don't know if you changed the formula but i don't feel it on my lips like very it's cute i like it like i don't Feel like it's drying i don't feel anything of that nature like it's i like it mm -hmm. cute 
So overall, I would recommend this uh, palette and liquid lips. So if you are interested, pick it up for the holiday season. I'm not sure if he's having Black Friday sales or you know holiday sales on that. So you have to check that out. But definitely go check that out. And I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Like it feels good to be back. So I will be bringing you more videos with this palette. So check out for that. And also remember to like, share, and subscribe. I'll leave all my social media links down below or also probably right after this video. And also be sure to hit the notification bell just to know when I do upload, which is gonna be a lot more. I promise you guys that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed just hearing me rant on and talk bullshit. And yeah, I love you guys and thank you for being here and coming back. And if you're new to my channel, once again, thank you for being here and sitting through all this. But yeah, here's to the next one. Thank you guys for watching.